Following their narrow two-point win over the Navy, the RAF have had a fortnight to lick their injury wounds ahead of what could be a decisive battle at Aldershot. That's now the focus and a potential third successive victory over the Reds. It was, a, it was a great win against the Navy, a very strong Navy side. Um, I thought both sides performed very well and uh, a very, very physical game, which we picked up a few injuries. Uh, but uh, tomorrow against the Army, it's a completely different, uh, a different prospect. Uh, I think the Army are very, very strong uh, and uh, obviously they'll, they'll be looking, looking to, uh, to avenge uh, previous, uh, previous years where we've, uh, we've managed to, to, to get a good result against them. The RAF women are in buoyant mood after their record 72-0 win against the Navy a fortnight ago and will provide perhaps the stiffest inter-services test the Army have ever faced. Back in the side after injury, skipper Chrissy Sigzoa hopes to lead the women into the record books. The Army have never lost an inter-services game, but coach Neil Thompson says records are there to be broken. Yeah, for sure, John. At some point, that the Army will have to lose. They've set the standard, they've been the benchmark. Uh, they've got an extremely strong squad of players, they're well coached, they're well supported and resourced. But tomorrow is just another another stop on the journey that the RAF women uh, are, are, are part of. And and we, we will at some point be able to match the army. We're hopeful it's going to be tomorrow, but if it's not tomorrow then it'll be next year you know that the journey doesn't begin or end tomorrow for RAF women's rugby everybody wants to to beat the unbeaten side but you know they they are unbeaten for a reason they're a very good side and they're very confident rightly so in their abilities so um we'll just take it as it comes it's 80 minutes of rugby it's nil nil at the start and we'll just throw everything that we've got at them and hopefully come out uh, with a good performance at least at the end and then maybe hopefully a win as well with the veterans game also taking place tomorrow, it promises to be a festival of rugby at Aldershot. The RAF men hoping for a repeat of their celebrations 24 months ago. I'm just happy that uh, the boys are playing well and that uh, the, the competition is now a, a genuine competition between all three sides. And uh, let's just say I hope we win tomorrow. Well, whatever the results tomorrow, the Army will know for sure they've been in some pretty serious games of rugby. John Knighton, Forces News, RAF Halton.